Hi, I'm Dr. Lillian Shapiro, a women's health specialist and robotic surgeon practicing in Atlanta, Georgia. Today, we have a lot of choices about fibroid treatment. While every woman's body and problems are unique and each surgery is different, I hope this video will help you understand the option of robotic myomectomy. This is a still picture of my patient's fibroids. You can imagine how painful this would be. See the huge red lines are large blood vessels and the large fibroids have the consistency of a Super Bowl, very hard. Here we are looking into the pelvis and we see fibroids being injected with a vasoconstrictor, a liquid that reduces bleeding as the fibroids are shelled out. Here you can see me using an instrument a very delicate scissor and a grasper to remove the fibroid from its shell. The woman I am helping in this video came to me because her fibroids caused so much pain that she could no longer go to work. A normal uterus weighs about 70 grams. These fibroids alone weighed 670 grams. I was able to remove this enormous painful mass in a surgery with only a few small incisions, a robotic myomectomy. We have preserved her uterus so that she can have children when she is ready. Fibroids often grow in a capsule. Here I am shelling the fibroids out of their capsules. Fibroids are an overgrowth of uterine tissue that form a tumor and often have the consistency of a rubber ball. Having a rubber ball this large in your pelvis, as you can imagine, can be very painful. It can also cause heavy bleeding and or painful periods. Many women have no idea how exhausted they are from their periods until they have a procedure to stop or reduce the bleeding. As you can see, it takes quite a bit of patience and skill to gel the fibroid out from its capsule. The Da Vinci robot has revolutionized minimally invasive surgery there are often many fibroids, and this is an additional fibroid found after we remove the primary large fibroid. This one could also grow as large as the previous one. The da Vinci instruments allow the surgeon to perform delicate suturing. The articulated or rotating ends of the instruments allow me to sew with precision, closing the uterus and repairing it close to its original shape before the fibroids. This patient went home the morning after her surgery. By two weeks after her surgery, she was able to return to work. After the uterus was repaired, I placed a platelet gel over the suture line. This gel is made from the patient's own blood and reduces scar tissue formation. Then the robot is disconnected and a laparoscope is placed using the same incision sites. The fibroids are placed in a medical bag and removed through one of the existing incisions. If you are suffering from your fibroids and want to keep your uterus, you almost never have to have a hysterectomy. It is a very personal decision and I will be happy to discuss your options with you in detail. 